Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, to start, I am going to be reading a very popular, well-known creepypasta called Sonic.exe. Now, this was first published on the Creepypasta Wikipedia back in 2011 by a user named JC the Hyena. Now, this creepypasta went viral very, very quickly, and because of the popularity of the Sonic franchise, it inspired a lot of fan art, very creepy fan art, and uh, several video games. While it would very likely be impossible for me to play all of the video games that exist for Sonic.exe, I will play the first one that came out, which is considered the official Sonic.exe game created by a user on Game Jolt called Mist Crimson. When I do play this, I will show you the secrets within the game, including a secret ending. But first, let's read the creepypasta. Now, before I get into it, let me just tell you, it's a little spooky, but it's also a little corny. So, yeah, let's go. I'm a total Sonic the Hedgehog fan, much like everyone else. I like the newer games, but I don't mind playing the classics. I don't think I've ever played glitchy or hacked games before, though I don't think I want to play any after the experience I had. It started on a nice summer afternoon. I was playing Sonic Unleashed. I liked how you get to explore the towns in it. Until I noticed, out of my peripheral vision, that the mailman had arrived and put something in my mailbox, as usual, and left. I paused the game to see what I got in the mail. The only thing in the mailbox was a CD case for computers and a note. I took it inside. I looked at the note first, and I realized it was from my dear friend Kyle, let's just call him that, whom I hadn't heard from in two weeks. I know that because I recognize his handwriting, though what was weird is how it looked. It looked badly written and scratchy and somewhat difficult to read, as if Kyle was having a hard time writing it down and did it in a hurry. This is what he wrote. Tom, I can't take it anymore. I had to get rid of this thing somehow before it was too late, and I was hoping you'd do it for me. I can't do it. He's after me, and if you don't destroy this CD, He'll come after you too. He's too fast for me. Please, Tom, destroy this goddamn forsaken disc before he comes after you too. It's too late for me. Destroy the disc and you'll destroy him. But do it quick, otherwise he'll catch you. Don't even play the game. It's what he wants. Just destroy it, please. Kyle. Well, that was certainly weird even though Kyle is my best friend, and I think I haven't seen him in two weeks. I didn't do what he asked me to do. I didn't think that a simple gaming disc would do anything bad to him. After all, it's just a game, right? Boy, was I wrong about that. Anyway, I looked at the disc and it looked like any ordinary computer CDR disc, except it had black marker on it written Sonic.exe, and it was much unlike Kyle's handwriting meaning that he must have gotten it from someone else, like a pawn shop or eBay. When I saw Sonic on the writing of the CD, I was actually quite excited and wanted to play it, since I'm a big Sonic fan. I went up to my room and turned on my computer and put the disc in and installed the game. When the title screen popped up, I noticed that it was the first Sonic game. I was like, awesome! Because like I said earlier, I liked the classics. The first thing I noticed that was out of place was when I pressed start. There was a split second screen when I saw the title image turned into something much different, something that I now consider horrifying before cutting to black. I remember what the image looked like in that split second before the game cut to black. The sky had darkened, the title emblem was rusted and ruined, the Sega 1991 was now Sega 666, and the water had turned red, like blood, except it looked hyper-realistic. But the freakiest thing that was in that split second frame was Sonic. His eyes were pitch black and bleeding with two glowing red dots staring right at me. And his smile had stretched wider up to the edge of his face. I was rather disturbed about the image when I saw it, though I figured that it was just a glitch and forgot about it. 
After it cut to black and stayed like that for 10 seconds or so, and then another weird thing happened. The save file, select from Sonic the Hedgehog 3, popped up, and I was like, WTF? What's this doing in the first Sonic game? Anyway, then I noticed something was off. The background was a dark cloudy sky of the Red Stardust Speedway level from Sonic CD, and there were only three save files. The music was that creepy Caverns of Winter music from Earthbound, only it was extended and seemed to have been in reverse. And the image for the save file, where you see a preview of the level you're on, is just red static for all three files. What freaked me out more was the character select. It showed only Tails, Knuckles, and to my surprise, Dr. Robotnik. Now I was sure that something was up, I mean, how can you play as Robotnik in a classic Sonic game, for crying out loud? That's when I realized that this wasn't a glitchy game. It was a hacked game. Yeah, it definitely looked hacked. It was really creepy, but as a smart gamer I wasn't scared, or at least I tried not to be. I told myself that it was just a hacked game, and there was nothing wrong with that. Anyways, shaking off the creeped out feeling, I picked file 1 and chose Tails, and when I selected and got started. The game froze for about 5 seconds, and I heard a creepy pixelated laugh that sounded an awful lot like that Kefka guy from Final Fantasy before cutting to black. The screen stayed black for about 10 seconds or more, then it showed the typical level title thing, except the simplistic shapes were different shades of red, and the text showed only Hill, Act 1. The screen faded in, and the level title vanished, revealing Tails in the Green Hill Zone from Sonic 1. The music was very different, though. It sounded like a peaceful melody in reverse. Anyway, I started playing and had Tails start running like you would in any of the classic Sonic games. What was odd was that as Tails was running along the level, there was nothing but flat ground and a few trees for 5 minutes. That was when the peaceful music started to lower down into deep tones very slowly as I kept going. I suddenly saw something and I stopped to see what it was. It was one of the small animals lying dead on the ground bleeding. That was when the music started to slow down. Tails had a shocked and saddened look on his face that I had never seen him have before. So I had him move along, and he kept that worried look on his face. As he kept moving, I saw more dead animals as Tails moved past them, looking more and more worried as the music lowers and he moves past more dead animals. I was shocked to see how they all died. They looked like somebody killed them in rather gruesome ways. A squirrel was hanged on a tree with what appeared to be his entrails hanging out. A bunny had all four of his limbs torn off, and a duck had his eyes gouged out and his throat slit. I felt sick to my stomach when I saw this massacre, and apparently so did Tails. After a few more seconds, there were no more animals, and the music seemed to have stopped, I still kept Tails to continue. After a minute passed after the music stopped, Tails was running up a hill and then he stopped. It wasn't until I saw why. Sonic was there on the other side of the screen with his back against Tails with his eyes closed. Tails looked happy to see Sonic, but then his smile faltered, obviously noticing that Sonic wasn't responding to him, if not acting as if he was totally oblivious to Tails' presence. Tails walked slowly towards Sonic, and I noticed that I wasn't even moving my keyboard to make him move, so this had to be a cutscene. Suddenly I began to have a growing feeling of dread as Tails walked closer to Sonic to get his attention. I felt that Tails was in danger and something bad was going to happen. I heard faint static growing louder as Tails was but inches away from Sonic and stopped and stuck his hand out to touch him. The foreboding feeling in my gut was growing stronger and I felt the urge to tell Tails to get away from Sonic as the static grew louder. Suddenly in a split second I saw Sonic's eyes open and they were black with those red glowing dots, just like that title image. Though there wasn't a smile. When that happened the screen turned black and the static sound turned off. It stayed black for about 7 seconds and then white text appeared forming a message saying, Hello, do you want to play with me? At that point I was creeped out. I didn't want to continue with the game, but my curiosity got the better of me when I was taken to a different level with the level title now saying, Hide and Seek. This time I was in the Angel Island level from Sonic 3, and it looked like everything was on fire. 
Tails looked as though he was scared out of his wits this time. He actually looked at me and made a frantic gesture to me, as if he wanted to get out of the area he was in as fast as possible. I was starting to get freaked out by this. I mean, Tails was actually breaking the fourth wall, trying to tell me to get him out of there. So I pressed down the arrow key as hard as I could and made him run as fast as he could. A pixelated version of that creepy theme when you meet Shadow at the Ark as Robotnik from SA2 was playing as I made Tails trek through the desolate forest, trying to help him escape from whatever he was trying to run from. Suddenly I heard that creepy laugh again, that awful Kefka laugh right after 10 seconds has passed as I helped Tails run through the forest, and then I started seeing flashes of Sonic popping everywhere on the screen, again with those black and red eyes. The music changed to that suspenseful drowning jingle as I see Sonic behind Tails gaining up on him flying. Sonic wasn't running, he was actually flying. The flying pose his sprite was making looked very similar to Metal Sonic's flying pose in Sonic CD, except it was just Sonic and he had black and red eyes again. Only this time, he had the most deranged looking grin on his face. He looked as though he was enjoying the torment he was giving the poor little fox as he gained up on him. Suddenly when Tails tripped, another cutscene, the music stopped and Sonic vanished. Tails laid there and started crying for 15 seconds. The scene was rather upsetting to watch and I kind of teared up myself. But, then Sonic appeared right in front of Tails and Tails looked up in horror. Blood started to come down from those blackened eyes of Sonic's as a grin slowly grew from his face as he looked down at the horrified fox. I could do nothing but watch. Just in a split second, Sonic lunged at Tails right before the screen went black. There was a loud screeching noise that only lasted 5 seconds. The text returned only this time it said, You're too slow. Want to try again? And then that awful laugh came with it. I was so shocked by what had happened. Did Sonic murder Tails? No, he couldn't have. He and Tails were supposed to be best friends, right? Why did Sonic do that to him? I shook the shock off as I was brought back to the character select. The save file that had Tails was different. Tails was no longer in the box itself, but in the TV screen itself, which was flickering with that red static. Tails' expression scared me. His eyes were black and bleeding, his orange fur had gone black, and he had an expression of anguish on his face. Trying to ignore it, I picked Knuckles next. The laugh came again and the screen cut to black again, and stayed there for another 10 seconds. This time, the level said, you can't run. I was really freaked out by now. I couldn't really tell if this was a glitch or a hack, or some kind of sick twisted joke, or anything really. But despite my fear of what happened next, I kept playing. The next level looked much different. It had the ground of the scrap brain zone, but the sky background looked like the main menu. It had the dark reddish cloudy sky. But it was the music that creeped me out the most. It sounded like Giga's theme right after you beat Pokey in Earthbound. I also noticed that Knuckles looked afraid just like Tails did. Though not as much. More rather, he looked a little unnerved. He broke the fourth wall, just like Tails, and looked as if he wasn't sure about going on, but I made him move anyway. He ran down the straight pathway in this dark level, and as he did, the screen started to flicker red static a couple times, and then that maddening laugh came again. Then after a few seconds of running, I noticed several blood stains on the metallic ground. I felt a growing sense of fear again, thinking something horrible was going to happen to Knuckles. He looked nauseated walking down the blood-stained road, but I still kept him going. Suddenly as Knuckles ran, Sonic appeared right in front of him with those black and red eyes, and then red static appeared again. When the static vanished, showing nothing but a black screen with text saying, found you. I was now scared. Sonic's found Knuckles already? What was going on? Anyway, Red Static came again and then I was back to the level. Knuckles looked like he was panicking, and Sonic was nowhere to be found. And this time, that high-pitched squealing from the Silent Hill 1's final boss was playing. Was this some kind of boss battle with Sonic? I hope to god it wasn't, honestly. Suddenly Sonic appeared right behind Knuckles in what appeared to be pixelated black smoke. 
I made Knuckles turn and then punch Sonic, but Sonic vanished in black pixelated smoke before I could even land a hit. That terrible laugh went off again. Then Sonic appeared behind Knuckles again, and then I made him punch again, and Sonic vanished again laughing. Knuckles was panicking even more, and even I felt like I was going crazy. Sonic was practically playing with us. He was playing a sick, twisted little mind game with me and Knuckles. Another cutscene played as Knuckles fell to his knees and clutched his head, sobbing. I felt his agony. Sonic was actually driving us both crazy. And then in a split second, Sonic lunged at Knuckles and the screen went black with another distorted screeching noise that lasted for at least three seconds. Another message appeared. So many souls to play with us, so little time. Would you agree? What the hell? Just what is going on? I started to think Sonic was actually trying to talk to me through the game, but I was too scared to think that. I was brought back to the main menu, and this time the second file box had Knuckles in the TV screen. His red fur had darkened to a reddish gray, his dreadlocks were dripping with blood, and his eyes were black and bleeding too, and he had a look of sadness on his face. I began to think that those are the actual characters trapped in those TV screens on the save files, but I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. So I shut off the game and took a break. I took a nap, wish I hadn't, because I then began to have the most disturbing nightmare. I was in a pitch black darkness, though I was under the light given off by a lamp that hung high above my head. I could hear the cries of Knuckles and Tails nearby. They were saying things like, help us, why did you give us to him, and run away before he gets you too. Their cries died out as I heard Sonic laugh. His laugh, it sounded a lot like a distorted Kefka laugh. You're a lot of fun to play with, kid, just like your friend Kyle, though he didn't last long. I was scared and looking around for the source of the voice. Won't be long until you join him with all my other friends. I saw him walking toward me, flickering in and out in several directions. You can't run, kid. You're in my world now, just like the others. When he grabbed me and I saw his bleeding black and red-eyed, grinning face, I woke up with a fright. After a couple of hours, I decided to continue playing the game. I don't know why, but I had to know. I had to figure out why this was happening. So I turned on the computer, turned on the game, and selected Robotnik next. I still thought that was wacky, playing as Robotnik? But anyway, the level title appeared again and this time said, dot dot dot, which I found really freaky. This time I was in some kind of hallway, really didn't look like it was from any of the classic Sonic games, though it has the pixelated style, the floor was shiny and checkered, the walls were a dark grayish purple with animated candle lights and a few dark blood stains here and there. And there was a dark red curtain hanging above on the top part of the screen. Every 12 seconds or so, that red curtain sways very slowly, but whenever you're playing the game you can barely see it move. The music was oddly pleasant, a piano playing a rather sad yet peaceful song, but I knew better. This was the song that played in Hill Act 1, only it wasn't in reverse. Robotnik didn't look entirely nervous like Tails and Knuckles did, but he did have a suspicious look on his face, as if he was just a bit paranoid. He did a little animation when I just left him standing. He turns his head to the left and then to the right at least twice and then shrugs at me as if he has no idea where he was or what was going on. Even though I was scared out of my mind about what was going to happen, I had Robotnik continue onward. He did his usual running animation, you know, when you've beaten him at the end of a classic Sonic game and you chase him, as we continued down through the hallway. Then I stop at a long flight of stairs leading downward. Now I was nervous. Even Robotnik seemed unsure of himself, though I pressed onward. As I led Robotnik down the stairs, I noticed that the walls have gotten darker and more reddish, the red torches are now an eerie blue. Then he landed onto another hallway. This one was longer than the last one, or at least it felt like it. And then we headed down another flight of stairs. This one was much longer, took at least one full minute. And then I heard that horrid Kefka laugh again, and the music slowly faded until it was quiet. As it did, the walls turned more red, and the torches were a black flame now. When Robotnik landed onto the third hallway, I noticed he now looked really creeped out, though he tried to hide it. I couldn't blame him. I was scared too. Suddenly Sonic popped right in front of Robotnik the same way he did with Knuckles and then red static. 
The red static lasted for about 15 seconds, and then it showed me a most unpleasant image. The image showed a hyper-realistic of Sonic standing in the darkness where you could only see his face while his head and torso faded into black. And when I say hyper-realistic, I mean he looked so real you could actually see the lines in his blue fur. As if you could actually feel the fur if you touched the screen. His face, oh god, he had the most horrifying smile I had ever seen. And that's something considering I saw that image at the start of the game. His eyes are wide and black, and once again crying blood, which also looked hyper-realistic, and there were two small glowing red dots in those black eyes staring right at me, as if staring into my mind. His grin was wide and demonic, it literally stretched to the size of his face like a Cheshire cat, except Sonic had fangs, very sharp fangs, much like the werehog's teeth except more vicious looking somewhat yellowish, and from the look of it, he had stains of blood and small bits of flesh in his lips and fangs as if he ate some sort of animal. I stared at the gruesome image for a good 30 seconds, never taking my eyes off of it. I felt as if he was actually looking at me, smiling at me, that face. It just took 10 seconds for it to etch itself into my brain for good. Then the screen flickered with red again three times, and on the third time I heard the Kefka laugh, except this time it sounded distorted, demonic even. It went back to the image again, except this time there was text, though it was messed up, but it was pretty much one of the most horrifying things I looked at since I had this game. I am God. It was when I read that message while looking at Sonic when it hit me, I realized right there and then, this Sonic was a monster, a pure evil, sadistic, all-powerful, nightmarish, demented monster, and all of his victims, including Tails, Knuckles, Robotnik, and possibly Kyle, are just his little toys, and the game is the very gateway into his chaotic, nightmarish world, and the very hell his victims are trapped in. Suddenly, in a split second, I screamed as Sonic lunged at the screen, screeching loudly with his mouth wide open to an unnatural length, revealing nothing but a literally spiraling abyss of pure darkness before the red static came again, this time much louder and distorted, so loud that it hurt my ears. I yelled and grabbed my ears as the red static screeched for a good seven seconds. Then it stopped and showed nothing but a black screen. As I sat there staring at the black screen, one last text came up. Ready for round two? Tom? The Kefka laugh now sounding more clear as if Sonic was right behind me, played again three times as I looked at the text in shock and confusion. Then I got booted back to the main menu, and this time the third save file had a TV image of Robotnik in the same tormented state as Tails and Knuckles. Robotnik's skin turned to dull gray, his mustache drooped and had blackened, his glasses broke and blood is coming out from them, and he had a mere dead-like expression on his face. I looked at Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik, and I cried a bit. I pitied them for the agony they're going through. They were forever trapped within the game, forever tormented by that horrid hedgehog, and always will be. Then the computer shut off. I sat there for maybe 25 seconds, horrified by what had just happened. Sonic is the very embodiment of evil, he tortures people who play his game in more ways than one, and then when he got bored he drags you into the game, literally drags you to hell, where he can play with you always as his toy. I can't get the game out of my computer, I think it's stuck in there, but at least I managed to turn it back on now. After I sat there for 25 seconds, I heard a voice right behind me, like a whisper. Try to keep this interesting for me, Tom. I turned around to see where the voice came from, and what I saw made me scream. Sitting on my bed, staring right at me, was a sonic plushie, smiling, with blood stains under its eyes. Alright guys. Let's do this. Playing his tails. Hill, Act 1. Alright, so I'm gonna play through this normally first. And then you guys can see the... special 
ending. Alright. So we're just gonna... We're gonna go this way. Out for our daily jog. Oh. Oh no. <sighs> what is this? Are these dead animals? What kind of sicko would do something like this? Oh, that, that poor squirrel. That poor duck. Holy shit. Oh, it got... Got really quiet. Huh, that's weird. Sonic? What's up, buddy? Oh, what? Sonic, you, you okay, man? What's wrong? Hey, but Oh. Oh. Huh. Sonic. Oh, fuck. Hello. Do you want to play with me? No. No, I don't. Hide and seek? What is, what is happening here? Why is everything on fire? Is this some kind of sick joke? Okay. We'll keep going. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh no. Oh god, he's right behind us. Ah. Ugh, no! Sonic! Ah! Oh, you son of a bitch. I thought we were friends. I will eat your heart. <laughs> I like how, uh... Hold on. You're too slow. Want to try again? Sure. Yeah, so I like how, uh, Tails screams like a woman. Okay, we're gonna- we're gonna be Knuckles now. You can't run. Okay. Apparently we can't run. But we can- we can- we can punch! Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm feeling pretty confident now. I think we got this. Ugh. What? Oh, there's blood everywhere. This this is disturbing. I'm Oh, Sonic. Found you. All right, Sonic. Sick of your crap. I'm going to destroy you. Quit quit disappearing. What the How are, how are you doing this? Sonic. I'm going to get you, man. Oh. There's that scream again. So many souls to play with. So little time. Would you agree? Yeah. I'm gonna agree. Sure. Alright, we're a dot 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 act. We're playing as Dr. Robotnik, which makes no sense. Uh, there's there's blood stains in the uh, background. Ooh. Okay. Oh. The background changed a little bit, man. Crazy. I like the music. It's great. This doesn't seem as scary. Uh oh. Uh. Oh. Ah. Uh. What's happening? Hello? Oh. Okay. Sonic? I'm pressing buttons. Nothing's happening. Is there supposed to be something after this? I think so. Oh, here we go. 
Okay. Ready for round two. No. Your breathing is very creepy. I don't like that. Okay. Game over. Is it is it really game over? Wait a minute. Huh. Oh. Okay, so this is where the game ends, and there's writing on the screen, which I could not read, but there is a special ending to this game, which I have never actually got, yet I know how to get it, so huh, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go. Alright guys, to get the second ending, um, to go this way, for just a little bit, not much. This is probably good. Now we'll turn around and go back. There we go. So this is just the first part of this. Now we can jump. Which is nice. Got a little special level. Right here. We're gonna get a couple of these. Oh, and there's Sonic down below. Are we gonna jump on his head? I guess so. Alright, the fire's away. And we're back. To Hill Act 1, and we're gonna go backwards again. We just got a ring, a black ring. I got it really quickly, so I don't know if you guys saw it. But it was there. We're gonna get two more of these. So now we just have to, um, do what we normally would do. Run through the, uh, trail of dead animals. Can't have a trail without them. Wouldn't it be the same. Okay. Now we're gonna get our butt kicked. Or at least scared. Just like before. Hello. Do you want to play with me? Hide and seek. So this is going to be... Just like the last playthrough this part. No changes here. Oh. Ah. Uh. That, that scream gets me every time, I don't know why. You're too slow. Want to try again? Sir, yes sir. Alright, here we go, Knuckles. And, I think we just go back again, like we did with Knuckles. Uh Don't like playing by the rules? No. <laughs> F F F F F F You're fun to play with. Thank you. But this is my world. Won't be long now. Soon, 
you will be joining us. Are you listening? No. You're next. Okay. Can you go back? And there's that black ring. Okay. Now we have to go try to, uh, kick Sonic's butt all over again. Keep running. Keep running. Uh oh. Congrats. So I think this is one where we have to go to the right a little ways, and then we go back. I don't know how far we go. I think just a little ways. Hopefully. Okay, that wasn't far enough. Apparently. Huh. Guess we'll find out here in a minute. Maybe right up to where the stairs are? Alright, let's try that. If not, I guess we're gonna have to go down the stairs. It's been a few days since I read the tutorial on how to get the second level. Okay. There we go. Oh. What is happening? I will strip your flesh from your body. Not nice. Ooh. No. Uh, why do you keep fighting? My game has only just begun. Okay. If you say so. Dot dot dot, we're back. Now we're gonna get our ring. Okay. So I have no idea what this ending is exactly. I didn't read any further. <clears throat> the only thing I read was how to get it. But I know there definitely is something different. Any time now. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Let's see, Let's find out. We have to have our jump scare. Of course. Come on, come on, man. Let's do it. We already know what you're gonna do.
Ready for round two? Round two. Oh. He says it. Whatever. There's a way to release ourselves, a spell to obtain our souls once more. But we must speak it, but when we speak, no sound. We are all deaf. So failure is inevitable, and I regret ever entering my internet bet with the devil inside of me. Immortality versus soul snatching. Gary Crook versus Jake Shanley. Ambition is overrated. Okay. Oh. Okay. Huh. You had a chance to comply. Now you've gone too far. Okay. Can you hear them? They're trying to tell you something. Oh. Playing the with them was such fun. Almost as fun as you. There was Gary, and Jake, and Kyle, and Alice, and so many, many more. It's time your soul joined theirs. I can't read that. Is that the end? Is there anything else? Alright guys, so that was indeed the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, let me know in the comments if I should make more videos like this. Maybe covering different creepy pastas or, um, you know, just doing something a little bit different than what I normally do. So, um, yeah, if you liked it, click like. If you want to share it, share it. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, uh, please feel free to do that. I would appreciate it. All right. And I'll be back soon with uh, more horror games, okay? Peace.